Good morning, everyone. We're in St. Thomas today. So today we're going to go to Megan's Bay. We have never been before, but we have been to Cokie Beach, which is nearby, which we absolutely love, but we fancy trying somewhere a little bit different. If we don't like it, we can always get a taxi to Cokie Beach or head back to the ship. Alex is fascinated by the iguanas. I personally am a little bit scared of them. I've seen some fighting one time in Mexico and yeah, they're vicious, but maybe they only fight amongst themselves. This is the prices of taxis to different locations. Megan's Bay is $12 or 10 if you're with family or groups. Upon entrance to the park, there's an admission tax of $5 for non-residents and children are free. Wow, this is stunning. We opted not to get a sun chair as you have to drag them down to where you want and then drag them back and we're happy to sit on our towels from the ship. The bar and restaurant overlook the beach and there's a shop selling souvenirs and beach essentials. I'm going to show you a few of the menus from the bar and the restaurant so you can see what was on offer. I'm going to give you a little walk around the area just so you can get a feel what it's like. I started with the coconut man who was telling me about his poor coconuts that were getting knocked over in the hurricanes and he was hoping that no more hurricanes come. Here on the far left of the car park you can see all the taxis. Um, so our taxi driver said that he would take us at three um, but if you do need to go earlier you can get in one of the other taxis but he said he'll be going at three so one word of advice is not to leave it too late because a lot of people might be trying to get back to the ship and you might not get space on a taxi so get there early leave early and enjoy this place is absolutely fabulous Look at all these trees provide a bit of shade if you need that little bit of shade just to chill out and relax um, over here you have the restrooms and there's the bar so it's pretty easy to find your way around so this is the central part of the beach and then either side there is quieter spots over on the right hand side of the beach um, it looks like there's some rocks so we're hoping to go over there now in a few minutes and hopefully see some fish. I'll see if I can get anything on my little, what do you call it? Um, 
it's like a GoPro, but it's a non-branded camera. Um, so, so, I'll show you. So the quieter end is down that way. You can see down the end, there's actually hardly anybody down there. Um, I have seen people dragging loungers down that way, but it's very far. Um, well, you can see there's actually barely anybody down at the very end. And over here is the rocky area where we're gonna go now and snorkel and see if we can see any fish and stuff. After all that snorkeling, we were feeling a bit peckish and a bit tired, so we decided to head back to the ship. So Alex, what did you think of Megan's Bay? Nice. What was your favourite thing? Ask them if they want you to do the thing with salt, the like circle thing with stuff on it. Flatfish. We're gonna Google that later and see what it is. But it's very, very bumpy. <laughs> When we got back to the port, the iguanas were still there, some bathing on the rocks. I hope you enjoyed our video of Megan's Bay. Join us next time in St. Martin.